In this video, I'll be demonstrating a software named GeoGebra. So it can be accessed from the web browser by going to geogebra.org. Geo is geometry and Gebra is from algebra. So basically we are trying to learn both geometry as well as algebra. And this is a free software. And the version that we would like to use is under geometry. Okay. So again, geogebra.org and click on this geometry. So you will be accessing the website geogebra.org slash geometry. OK, so the software is very simple. It can be used to draw uh, any shape to begin with. And there are a lot of commands or buttons on the left side. You can see. And these are under tools. Similarly, there is something known as calculator, so we'll cover that calculator later on. So let's look at this tools option. And on the right side, we have a canvas or a graph sheet and using the mouse, you will be able to pan and also zoom in and zoom out. OK, so the X axis and Y axis are already shown to you. Now, what are the things that you can do? You can use it as a software to develop some mechanical design or anything that uh, can be represented as a drawing. So I have selected this point command. So wherever I click, new points are uh, plotted. OK, now there is a segment command. Segment is basically I can connect point A and B with a line segment. And similarly, there is something known as line command. So basically line is infinite in length. So if you want a line that extends in both the direction, so you can use the line command. Then polygon. So you'll have to. You can also. Select uh, the points as you go along, or if you already have existing points, you can create multiple lines as one entity. So here this is a separate entity. This is a separate entity. In this case, you have uh, three different edges. And if you delete, what did I do? I just selected one and I hit the delete button. So all three were in the same polygon. So that is the difference between a line a segment and a polygon. So please explore all the commands, including this. The circle with center so I can select a point and anywhere I take so I'll be able to draw a circle. So. There are a lot of commands here. So you can draw a line perpendicular to another line. So for example, if I select this. It says select perpendicular line and point. I want a line that is perpendicular to this guy. And maybe passing through. Uh, any of the point, say for C. Okay. Similarly, I can use a parallel line command. So I want a line that is parallel to this, but passing through maybe H. Okay. So like that, you will be able to <coughs> generate a lot of uh, construction lines also. Okay. So you can explore these. And if you want to measure say angle between two lines so for example this line and this line so the angle between them is also shown to you okay the length also can be measured so for example length of this segment a and b is measured and it is shown okay now please explore all the other commands in lines circle so basically you can also have an option where user can select a point and give the radius as input so you'll be able to draw. Further semicircle, circular sector, all those things can be explored. Polygon, regular polygon. So if you want regular polygon. Um, let's see. OK, how many vertices? So if we use five vertices, will get a pentagon. OK. And there are other things here. All these commands you should be able to select 
and read them and accordingly execute them. So I can select an object about say J point by uh, maybe 180 degrees. If I do it, so I got the line that is rotated and placed here. OK, whatever was JK line that got rotated and placed here. OK, similarly, those other things can also be explored. OK, so please explore the different commands in GeoGebra software. And once you have some mastery over all the commands, it will take it will require you around half an hour to get familiarized with different commands. Later on, I'll be sharing one image which will have certain tasks that you will have to do. Thank you.